Bethany. Sorry, I'm going to school. It's the holidays. Yes, and I'm picking up my exam results, OK? You avoided me. What's up? Exam results. Not good. I told my mum that I was getting them posted out so I could go to school, check them first, make sure they were all right. They're not. Do you want a coffee? No. OK, you can watch me have one then. Come on. So I'm guessing no-one else knows about the pills? I've stopped. Honest. After what happened yesterday, I flushed them. It was a stupid idea. Who's that? Oh, just a mate. Look, I appreciate everything you did. And I'm not saying things are peachy, but I am okay. I don't believe you. Why not? Callum's body under your grand's bedroom. Kylie murdered in the street. Your mum. Dealing with stuff like that's not easy. You're going through a tough time. It's okay to ask for help, you know. Yeah, and I feel better after talking to you. You can't tell anyone, please. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, Gary's just having me with a new gym program. All oh, right, cheers. Uh, no worries. <sighs> no exam results. Post come, there's nothing. Honestly, the school, the flaming useless. Oh, yeah, they did say that there could be a delay if there's problems with marking. Um, I'll call them. All right, well, you didn't say that before. I forgot. We need to be helping out with Lily's birthday. Um, I've got to go. Okay. I'm just going to get an espresso. We're sorted now, yeah? Maybe we could go to the school and pick up your results. Uh, no, I, I called them and said they're definitely posting them out tomorrow. Michael will be fine with the kids. Yeah, well, Lily's having a sleep and Max will speak to anyone. He just needs some time. Mm. Oh, look, I'm just going to nip to the toilet, OK? Uh, can we go out the back? <sighs> this should be my choice, not yours. It's pretty clear you need help. You've got to talk to your mum. I can handle it, all right? You're not still discussing gym programmes. No, you're right. I, um, I got my results. What? I lied. I went to pick them up from school today. I didn't tell you because, well, they're bad. How bad? Totally wrong. I failed three. You were predicting much better grades than these. Oh, it's just all my fault, isn't it? I mean, everything that's happened, dragging you back from Milan and Callum and Kylie. I can retake them, though. I'll do better next time. I've just been such a rubbish mum. I've just let you down so bad. I'm so sorry. You, from now on, things are going to be different, I promise you. Okay? Well, I should be getting off. Did you know about this this morning at the cafe? I said she needs to talk to you. Well, at least there was somebody there she felt she could talk to, so... Look, these things seem bad at the time, but... there's always a way to sort them out. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Oi! You missed it. Leanne, pregnant, due in spring. OK, uh, this calls for a little champagne. Will you join us? Me? Yes, you. You did help break the good news, didn't you? Oh, oh, go on then. My pleasure. Give us a hand. Uh, two bottles of champagne, please, Liz. And I hope you'll join us as well. I'm fine, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. So, it's going to be another baby in the family. Oh, it's, um, it's great. Unfortunately, we've we've had some bad news. Bad news? Bethany's exam results. Oh, dear. Uh, are they a bit of a disappointment, sweetheart? Uh, more like disaster. Well, I'm not surprised after that letter from the school. What letter? Oh, she walked out of one of the exams. 
Well, it wasn't going very well, was it? We, we didn't want to tell you because it was while you were in hospital. You should have told me. Well, she can take it again. Yeah. So, I was right, it is my fault. No, no, it's not. I can redo the whole year if I have to. Well, you're coping very well. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go home if that's all right. I'm not really in the mood for celebrating. Are you sure? Lardy, look at the state of you wobbling like a jelly. <laughs> How did you get that fat? Stuffing your face full of chips again. Leave me alone. Well, I'm helping. If you keep getting fatter and fatter, you're gonna explode and then we'll all be covered in plat fat. <laughs> plat fat. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> ah! You're going to regret that. Oi, oi! <laughs> Leave it. Well, she hit me. You saw what happened. No, I saw you start it. Now get out and don't come back. I am going to make you suffer. I said out. Go on. That your friend, is it? Believe I hit her. She's going to be so mad. Does your mum know about this bullying? She thinks it's sorted. Well, it's clearly not, is it? She's been through so much. You saw what she's like. And you think you can handle it by yourself? You now I've messed up so many times I've lost count. Most of the time it's because I was too dumb or too proud to ask for help. I don't want to worry, my mum. But I can help. All right, but you've got to meet me halfway. First, no more pills, and that's a deal breaker. <sighs> OK. I told you, I flushed them away anyway. When you're back at school? Next week. All right, then next week I'm coming in with you to report Lauren. No. Hey, I never said this was going to be easy, all right? But whatever's been done before, it's not working, is it? No, please. Or we can tell your mum, but I can't keep this to myself. Fine. We're going to school. All right, come on. Where are we going? Not going anywhere.